moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. Ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect, I'll take two. Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. I think I've seen this. Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Yoo-hoo. Tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Aha. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Nah. Nope. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offer. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. 
I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Look, I want to help you. I'm afraid I may be some fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I... Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Can I go now? Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me, amateurs. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Tootie ain't afraid of no cats. A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here. Can I go now? Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know, amateurs. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! <coughs> ah, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Hello, Mista Pizza. Send over another gargantuan anchovy and hot sauce special, please. Hello, is this the president? It is? Really? Well, uh, thanks. That's all I wanted to know. Hello, Max? Yes? Just checking. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? So balmy and sulfurous, it makes me want to feed expired food products to stray animals and homeless people. Head like a watermelon and a heart to match. That's my pal. Do you remember when they filmed Corkscrew Psychopath 3 here? That was a film? Boy, that explains a lot. I 
I think I stepped in part of the city. Hopefully it was one of the parts that was dead already. Let's get cracking. Yeah! One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. <laughs> 